Misty Oreo from Citizenship Academy here with another read aloud. Today we're going to read Caps for Sale. I love this story because not only is it a little bit silly, but it's also really good for being able to tell what the problem is in a story. In this story, this guy, he's our peddler. He has a big problem in the middle of our story. Remember when we talk about stories, we go on that roller coaster ride, right? We have the beginning where we meet our characters and our setting, and then we go up, 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 and we hit our conflict or our climax, our problem. Something happens, something big happens. Our main character has a problem, and then we go, and our problem is solved. So while we're reading this, I want you to think about what our peddler's problem is and then how it gets solved. What the problem is and then how it gets solved. Ready? It's called Caps for Sale. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First he had his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, and then a bunch of brown caps, and then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight as to not upset his caps. And as he went along, he called, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he. And he walked out of town, slowly, slowly, as to not upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree, and he leaned back a little against the tree trunk as to not disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel that they were all straight. First his own check chap, cap, and then the gray caps, and then the brown caps, and then the blue, and then the red on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he felt refreshed and rested. Starting to see a problem. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were all in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. Well, he looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. He looked in back of him. No caps. He looked behind the tree. No caps. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? <sighs> On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray, or a brown, or a blue, or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkey looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, Dis, dis, dis. This made the peddler angry, so he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, Dis, dis, dis. Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you had better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, Dis, dis, dis. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you, you must give me back.
back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both feet and said, Dus, dus, dus. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off his cap, and all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own check cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and the red caps on the very top. Slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! The end. Do you like that one? Hope so. So share with me in the comments what you think the problem was, our conflict, and what you think our solution was. And I will see you guys next time.